Holy crap. So, today is Friday the 13th of September. Yesterday, I came home from work and my power was cut off. Turns out I forgot to schedule the payment. As you can see, the overdue amount was $65.49. So why is this saying $155.49? Because I didn't get home until about 7.30, which means after hours for them to come out and turn the power back on is $90. Nine zero dollars. Almost 150% additional of the power bill. And as you can see, the total current charges are $67.90. So right after they turned the power back on, I went to pay that $67.90. So then what is this $35 up here? Well, on top of the $90 they charge for after hour reconnect, if you miss the power bill and you get disconnected, they charge you just another $35 fee on top of everything else. So, essentially, to miss the power bill cutoff date, which would have actually been the 11th, because the cutoff disconnection of 912 is the date they're actually cutting you off. So it would have to have been paid prior to that by 5 o'clock on the 11th. So if you don't pay it by 5 o'clock on the 11th, The $65.49 will cost you $125 total. Divided by $64.49, 1.94. So almost three times your paying total. It's a sad, sad day. Also, I noticed when I was looking all that up that I hadn't paid the internet bill in two months. So my internet is actually $24.99 a month. This being fifty eight ninety three is because of the eight dollar is something late charge on it as well. So everything I've said in every previous video about scheduling your payments, scratch that. Here's what you do on the power bill. I have changed it to auto pay. Even if you bounce a check, the bank might actually refund that. But the power company are nonchalant. They don't give a crap about you. They could care less if you got financial problems. As a matter of fact, it seems funny to them to charge you extra money because your power got cut off because obviously you don't have any money. So, it's far better to put that on auto pay 
because if you're late the first time it's only like six dollars but if you miss it all together and get disconnected it's a hundred and twenty five dollars on top of the six dollars So $131 total. $131 total goes a long way toward overdraft charges. So what I've done was, I'm not going to go through the trouble of showing you because it's a lot of personal poo in there, but on your membership portal you can set up auto pay or a credit card or e-check I chose credit card which was what was already on file anyway which is uh, debit right out of the checking account now in the grand scheme of things you'd want to use credit card that you get cash back from the spark card I do get some cash back very little So I get rewards cash here. And I basically just apply to the balance when it gets up to so much. Anyway, leave your comments, questions. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or both. And I will see you in the next video.